Yousef, how's yeah, everything, yeah. sir? I'm good, man. Okay, let's let's talk, man. Um, saw you on TMZ. Yes. Um, we're hearing things, you know, daily news on the paper. What do you want to tell the people? I'm gay. Okay. I'm tired of holding it in. You know, it is what it is. I live my life. I'm gay. Now, how long have you known? Uh, you? About a, about a, about eight years. Was your first encounter on this tape? No. Okay. About ten years ago. About ten years ago. Yes. So, ten years ago it happened. Eight years ago, you kind of, you finally. Yes. I'm just holding it all in. Did anybody in your personal, you know, circle know before this tape came out? No. Okay. So when this this tape came out, can you like walk us through it? Like how? Uh, the tape came out. You know, I try to lie about it. I try to cover it up, but now I'm just, you know, it's out there. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah. I'm gay. You have 10 kids. Yes. You have um, two grandkids, one on the way. Yes. Were you just living a lie about, you know, with this, this woman? Because I know you were engaged. Yes. How, how, how did she take it? How, how did that feel? Uh, she, was, she took it hard, but then, you know, she like, it's your life. Live it. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do, live it. How relieved do you feel now that this is all for you? Uh, I feel like a new man, you know? Yeah. I ain't got to stress no more. I can, I can be me. I'm free. I know boxing is tough. Yeah. Philly is tough. We talked about that. Um, I've heard just rumblings that, you know, people from the boxing community, you know, have, have turned their back on you. Yeah. Um, how does that feel? It feels, it's, I just want everybody, I'm, I'm still me, you know. If you liked me before, you like me now. If you love me before, love me now. I'm still going to be me, you yeah. know. There's a new, new chapter in my life, but, you know, I'm still going to be me. If, if this tape wouldn't come out, would you have come out on your own? Probably not. But now it's out, and I'm out, you know. What do you have to say to people out there that may be living a lie? Let, let the truth be, let the truth be told, be you, be free. As long as the truth is out there, you can be free and do what you want to do in your life. It's you that got to go through it. Nobody else but you. You got to explain to your children, but other than that, that's the only people, other than that, I'm happy. Yeah, and I know you had to have some tough conversations with your children. Yeah. Uh, can you walk us through that? You know, I set my son down. I let him know what's going on. You know what he told me? He's still my dad. Regardless of whatever, you still my dad. And that's yeah. the, you know, like, that kept me, kept my spirit up, you know. I was happy, you know. He's taking it, my other children, they dealing with it, you know, I'm happy with it. So the whole story concocted of you were drugged, um, that, that story. It was all a lie. It was all a lie. All a lie. Okay. To try to cover myself up, you know. How many tapes have you done? Just one. Okay, now, this is the only tape that came out. Yes. It was only, yes. so you do remember everything yes. that happened. Walk us through that, I guess, that whole ordeal. You know, I wasn't there, you know. I mean, I just didn't know when it was going to come out. When it came out, you know, it was out, and I couldn't, I couldn't hide it no more. Yeah. Now they know, they know me. They know the real me, and I'm happy with myself. And for people out there, again, that may not accept you um, because of your sexual preference, what is your message for them? I'm still me. Just like, like me or love me. I'm still the same person that treated y'all, did stuff for y'all. Like, I'm still the same person. You said Mac, I'm always gonna be that person. Who were you, I guess, more, most hurt by that have turned their back on you? Uh, I don't know, a couple guys that I thought was my brothers, you know. We ate together, slept together in the same, like, same places, like, I would never thought they would turn their back on me, but you know, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. I got a great, great team behind me, great manager. You know, he, he done what he got to do, do the way Dre, and he the only one that turn their back on me, and I'm happy for that. So you, you did this tape, yes. this one time, yes. for $4,500. Yes. Um, and you just, you needed the money. Yes. I was down and out. I asked friends, they wouldn't help me, so I did what I had to do. Now, how did you find out about being able to do this? I, thing? I wanted, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted someone, my, my, my homies hang out at, you know. 
homies as in uh, friends, you know, uh, friends, brothers, you know. And I wonder why everybody walking past me and not saying nothing to me. But all the time this tape was out and I knew nothing about it. Mm. But you know, then somebody pulled me to the side and shit and told me about it. And that's when I started denying it and it ain't me. Like, at the end of the day, I'm sorry for the lies, you know, it is what it is, I'm me. I'm happy. Yeah, now in the last two weeks, take us to the moment when you found out that the tape was out, that you actually saw the tape. Um, what, what, was, what was that feeling like? I, I was hurt, like to myself. And I was like, thinking about my children, how I'm gonna explain this to my children. Then, you know, I got with, I called a couple of my friends, said I'm thinking about killing myself. He said nothing. I, I called the wit. I said, yo, I'm thinking about killing myself. He came right there. He like, I'll be right there. He came and get me. And I've been, we've been tight ass since, working on what we're working on. Wow. So the feeling of one, wanting to kill yourself, that's going away. Going away, yeah. I'm, I'm free. I'm happy. Back to the relationship that you were in with your fiance. Yeah. Were, were you living a lie or, you know, with that relationship? Can you, can you uh, talk about that? I, yes, I was, you know. We were together five years, five and a half years. She was good to me, you know, I was good to her. But I just, I was a lie. I lied, I had a lot of lies for her, you know. She just came out and told her the truth, but I'm sorry. If I hurt her, if I hurt her boys, if I hurt my kids, you know, my family, I'm sorry. With that relationship, were you going to go ahead and get married yeah. just for the yeah. sake of covering everything up? No. I, I wanted to marry her. I always wanted to marry her, but you know, to cover it up, to make it, you know, like, so that was all, man, I wanted to get married. So you did want to get married yeah. to her. Now that you're out, you, when was the last time you talked to her? I, I just, I talked to her about 20 minutes ago. We oh. still, we still going to be close friends. This is very courageous for you to come out. Like, you know this, like, like I said to you, you know, before, you know, Philly's a tough city. Boxing is tough. Did you in some way do this tape knowing that it was going to get out? No, I didn't. So you didn't think anyone from... I didn't think nobody from Philadelphia would see it. Really? Yes. So you, you, and you did this tape last year? Last year. Because you never had to say, hey man, that was some quick money. Let me try to do it again. Nah. You never felt like, man, somebody made no money. Because, dude, you fought... You know why I felt like that? Because the producers that did the movie, they didn't know who I was. Okay. I'm like, if they don't know who I am, I know nobody else is going to see it. I wasn't worrying about it at the time. Was this in the back of your mind that it may come out? Yes, it was, but I didn't care at the time. Now that it's out, I'm like, I, I have a lot of people to explain to. And my kids first. Like, what was the toughest conversation with in the last two weeks since this tape has come out? My oldest daughter. And what, what was that like? Kill yourself. That's what she said to yeah. you. How old is she? 23. So she told you to, to kill yourself? Kill yourself. You embarrass us. And, and how did that make you feel? I threw the phone down and started crying. I didn't have no words, nothing to say. What could I say? Wow. Who you talking to like that? Because she got feelings. I'm a dad. Like, you embarrass us. Like, and all I could say was, you right. I threw the phone down. If she's watching this right now, what, what's your message for her? To all my kids, I'm, I'm sorry, and I'm still gonna be your father, regardless of what I, who I am or what I am. I'm still your dad. Yeah. Do you think in the African American community we're too tough on on homosexuals yeah. or people that? Because at the end of the day, we all human. We all bleed the same. We all, you know, go to bathroom the same. Everybody gotta be. Respect it and accept it. That's all I say. Like, because there's a lot of people out here that got skeletons in their closet. It just ain't come out yet. Hopefully, I can bring them. You know, make them bring it out the closet. If I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. But talk to me about how difficult this was for the last ten years or eight years of your life. Very, very. Because it's like I had something inside me that I wouldn't. I was afraid and. Scared to let people know, but now it's out. You know, I'm happy. I still, I still got close friends that really love me, like around me. So it don't matter. Like now, were there certain people? I mean, in your circle, that kind of knew what was going on, right? No. 
No one knew. No, because we were, we were the same dudes, be together, had girls together, all that. They never knew my business because I never, like, it was my secret. I would take it to my, to my, to my grave with me. But, you know, it came out now. I'm out, you know. There's no more to hide. What can I hide? Anybody seen it, you know? Is there still a lawsuit going on with Dog Pound Entertainment? I don't believe so. Okay. You guys ask my man and my manager about it. Okay. But I don't believe so. Okay. We and on, we on we on something else right now, like. So what is you self Mac working on like right I now? Got a, I got a book coming out called After the Bell, then a DVD called After the Gloves. Come on, you know, we're working on that. We trying to make it happen. So when y'all get my story, y'all understand why you know I'm the way I am now. Gotcha. And can you tell us a, a little bit about your your GoFundMe page as well? GoFundMe.com. It's for like the youth, for the children, you know, for the people that's going through what I'm going through, just to give back, you know. It ain't about putting money in my pocket, it's about giving back. And just some last words that you want to tell to everybody out there that called you a liar, that said, oh, he's this, he's that. The truth is out, and I'm sorry. You gonna like me or love me, regardless, I'm still me. Gotcha. And when you see me on the streets, I'm still you, Seth Mac, I'm still Catter. Whatever y'all want, it, I'm me. Gotcha. I, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. I appreciate you know you coming out and hopefully you know you inspire other people yeah. to to live their truth, yes. live their life. I appreciate you, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks a lot, bro.